So if you're new to a pool or you just want to kind of get an understanding of what uh, the different parts are, how they work together, that's why I want to kind of make this video just to, uh, you may be interested again, just like there's electrical there, you know, what do these components do, what, sh what can I turn off? Uh, I have a main pump, a separate pump, the lower one's a heater, uh, then electric to, um, to the lights and to the, the, the switches. Uh, and then this is the, a pump and I have a variable speed pump. So I just want to kind of touch on the different areas more uh, Just how the how the components work together and you know how it all works to you know, keep the, the, the pool running <laughs> So at its most basic, you have a pool and you have a pump. You have a lot more, obviously, but you want to keep water moving just to you know, keep algae out, be able to do lots of different things. So here, for example, uh, you may see generally a, some returns coming in. I have two. I have a, a skimmer and uh, the main drain. I actually have two skimmers. You know, they merge together and I have a valve there I can turn. Uh, I, I'm just opening my pool here, so you know, not the water isn't actually running. Uh, but one of the first things you want to do is obviously have a, uh, a filter. That's one of the main things is to be able to filter out the, the gunk in there, the little the pieces, the sediment, anything like that. Uh, it's usually the easiest thing to, to spot in the pool equipment is the big uh, dome shaped. Uh, you may have just a regular one with filters. Uh, you may have uh, a DE uh, in there, which is the, or you might have sand, anything, different ones. They, they, they all do the same thing. They just feel for filtering out. Um, so one of the, the other safety valves or items you might have is a, a backflow valve. And that comes in that, that uh, right before the pump. And what that does to keeps when the pump turns off, uh, you don't get water uh, running back to the pool. You always want it you know, going in one direction. Um, so that's, uh, that's how you can kind of distinguish if you see pipes coming out of the ground and you're not sure if it's the return or it's the water that, you know, that, that's coming from the skimmers or anything. You can usually uh, get an idea of the direction by the, the check valve. Uh, so it looks something like it's got a little flapper there and it's going to be uh, right before the pump. So there's usually a basket and a pump as well. You can kind of tell that's the, the suction side. So you see it's coming up here. It's going through that check valve. Uh, you'll see again, flapper in there and then going right into the pump. And then the pump puts it out. And then that's the pressure side on the other side that, that comes out. So you might see, uh, I showed one pipe here. And again, it's not all, all the best. Uh, but you see the, uh, underground, there might be a couple pipes that are a Y joint that, that comes out. For example, I have two skimmers but they join into one pipe um, again the the diagram showing the uh the return going to the the drain in the bottom but you get the the idea here so sometimes you might have two that that again join underground and you only get one that that comes up and so that's uh, again what mine looks like uh on the on the right side right there is where i have the return that that, that combined and then the main drain comes up a, a separate one uh, and so that's why a lot of times you don't get a good section on both your um, skimmers if you have them you know, going into one like that. And then depending on, again, on your filter, you may have a what's called a multi-port valve that goes right next to the filter. Uh, and that's useful for backwashing. So if you have DE or anything where you need to redirect the flow to flow the opposite direction and blow uh, to clean out the filter cartridges, that's what you'll see that. Uh, there so it's usually really close and that, or it allows you to eject water uh, anything like that uh, you can recycle again it's just for changing so that's what this this valve looks like where you can adjust it has a lot of different settings uh, it's usually on filter or backwash most of the time that's all you need and you can see here's the, the, the two ports that going into the filter so normally water goes one direction but you when you backwash you can make it go the opposite direction and there's other accessories that go on afterwards. You, you may have a chlorinator. Uh, you may have, say, a heater, uh, a booster pump for uh, like your Solaris, things like that. Uh, I have a heater, and so it goes on right before the water returns. So you can see it's coming out the port. Uh, there's, there's several different valves there, so you can actually bypass the heater. I have an electric heat pump. You may have a gas heater. Again, if it's gas, it'll be a lot smaller than this. Uh, but generally, the heater has you know incoming 
cold water, hot water comes out. And again, I can actually bypass mine. So I had, that's why I have these three different uh, valves on there, just in case uh, when you uh, shocking it, you don't want a lot of chlorine running through that or for whatever other reason you can bypass uh, the heater. So it goes in there and that's where it returns. So for example, I have, this is the my booster pump. I have it disconnected right now uh, just because it was actually broken. There's another video where I'm fixing this, uh, but you can see it actually takes some of the water off the return, boost it, and then sends it out its own uh, pipe that goes over to the pool. And that's where the, uh, the, the Polaris uh, vacuum connects to that. Um, kind of skipped over a skimmer. Most people understand, see it. They kind of understand how it is. There's a basket inside, uh, you know, the hole down at the bottom. And then uh, that's where the water comes in and it goes to the return. And then the mo most important part is this little flotation device. And it adjusts to the level of the water. And so what it does is it just obviously floats and it just lets a little bit of water come over and it, and it skims it. So as it's going over, since it's a, a small amount of water, it actually gets speed up, sped up. So it, it starts pulling in from uh, skimming on the water and this drops into the basket. And so it's very uh, useful for, for that function for taking leaves or any other obviously junk and return, be returning it. And there's a basket obviously so that you're not sending that to the impeller on the pump. That's why you can throw your chlorine tabs in there so they get you know, slowly dissolved and then returned uh, back to the pool. And then, again, I, I think I mentioned this before, but the, it, everything's pressurized, but they just call it the suction on the, the pump where the, where the water's coming in and the pressure on the side that, that goes out. So just sometimes you'll see that, that term or you might have that question or when you're debugging, it's kind of uh, good to understand you know, how that, that all works. And I kind of done this from the side, but from a top view, just to kind of get an idea how everything's laid out. Everything, your, your pool may be different, but I use usually two different skimmers. Uh, there's usually at least two different returns just to, you know, as, as a redundancy and also to help move the water. So obviously this, the, the water goes into the skimmer, uh, down those return drains, I'm sorry, down the drains into the pump. And then on the, uh, the returns, which is where the water comes in that's the pressure side there and saying the p is where it returns into the pool and i'm sure you've seen these before that's where the water's coming out uh, in, in a jet depending on how fast it's, it's coming out uh, you usually have a main drain that's another way of the, the water coming in uh, if, i'm pretty sure you know where the main drain is it's in the deep part usually the deepest part of the pool right in the middle there and that that sucks uh, the water and helps uh, cycle it if you have a newer pool um, there's, there's, there's usually an uh, anti-suction device that, that just sits just off to the side. And what that does is if anything gets clogged in there or a person or anything else, this, this thing will trip and it'll stop the suction on the main drain. So overall, I mean, there, there, there's a lot more that, that you may have in your pool, but just should be enough just to kind of get a, an understanding and help you debug just to, underst again, understand how it works and how to fix things.